Hey everyone, I'm adjusting my camera here. Um, I just wanted to do two things today. I wanted to show you my new wig that I got from Darlene. Um, her YouTube channel is Darlene Taylor and she has an eBay channel, channel, eBay account, eBay store. She sells stuff on eBay and she sells her wigs on eBay, the ones that she um, is getting rid of. So this is the Raquel Welsh cinch and um, I bought it from Darlene and I just love it. It is really really nice. Here's the left side. I just love the fullness and the angles and the um, the color, the fibers are really nice. And I just love this. I wore this, um, we just got back Saturday night and from Vegas. And this is a shadow or a rooted color. I'm not sure what the color is. She didn't say in the listing, but um, it's beautiful. And um, so I went grocery shopping today and to Walmart, you know, my favorite place to go. I wish we had a Kmart here. I'm wearing my Jacqueline Smith sweater that I got at Kmart. Uh, that was in one of my Vegas hauls. It's very comfortable. Anyway, I should be looking at you guys and not myself in the mirror. But, um, so I just wanted to show you this wig. And if you're interested in buying some fabulous wigs, I mean, she has some really nice wigs. Paula Young, uh, Noriko, Renee of Paris, um, and Raquel Welsh. Check out her channel or her eBay store. I'll put both links to both below. But I just wanted to show you what I got. I got something from, oh look, or however you pronounce it. Um, I, had, I think I had done the video on my, uh, what Raquel Welsh wig did I get in Vegas? The expensive one. Anyway. And somebody had very kindly told me that Outlook, um, Outlook, Hotlook, Outlook, had Raquel Welsh wigs on sale. And that was the last day. And I didn't realize it because I usually just delete my uh, Outlook um, emails because I certainly don't need to buy anything. Came home and I'm unpacking them. I'm like, where am I going to put all this stuff? So I had to weed through more of my clothes, dump them in the pile to get rid of. <sighs> but, okay. So I bought the main attraction wig. It's a Raquel Welsh. The color is R1422 Pale Gold Wheat. And this has the True to Life heat friendly fibers so it's cold the UPS guy just came and I ran out and got it and brought it in so I can show you guys this is how it's wrapped this is I can show you how it's wrapped it has this really pretty cloud paper and then this is how it comes in the box. It is has hairpins, like bobby pins. And I love these boxes. I love putting my wigs in boxes. And if any of you guys are interested in uh, the less expensive wigs that I bought, um, I will be listing them on eBay. Probably not till next week because Tomorrow I'm back to work, and then the Sham Fashionelle is Saturday night, and we're doing the performance. But this is, oh, this is pretty, and I love this color. This is beautiful. Main attraction. And as I said, it's an average, and it's pale gold wheat. And I just bought another um, beautiful wig. Raquel Welsh off of eBay and it's this color so I'm really happy because I really like this color and there's Juno hey Juno so this is what it looks like 
and it is a lace front monofilament top. It doesn't have the full monofilament, but it has that much. It looks like it probably goes back to about there, the crown. So uh, let's go ahead and try it on. I'm excited. Um, you know what? Some wigs I find I need to wear a wig cap with, such as the cinch. For some reason it was itchier for me than um, my Noriko Sky. That one I can wear without a wig cap. In fact, it feels better without. Um, so it all just kind of depends. When I got home from grocery shopping, I... Ooh, this is pretty. Ooh. When I got home from grocery shopping, I um, came and put my mesh wig cap on. Oh my God, you guys, look at this one. This is beautiful. Where's my comb, my comb, my comb? So the monofilament goes, where does it go? I mean, it's pretty generous. And this color is gorgeous. Oh my God. I'm so glad that the other one that I got, somebody was selling it and it was new with tags. And uh, it's in this color because I think this color is beautiful. It's similar to my um, Upstage. That's the name of it. It's similar to my Upstage, the color. But I think it's a little ashier. It's ashier than the Upstage. My Upstage has more strawberry red in it oh my god i think this was on sale on outlook for 157 or something like that which is a substantial savings and these fibers are just this hair just feels so amazing so what do you guys think a lot of times with the longer wigs, I like to tuck them. I think they look better on me. Uh, wow. So this is the Heat Friendly. Nice. This is the Heat Friendly Fiber. Although, I don't know. I've read and heard... Um, some mixed things about that, that the heat friendly fibers, once you apply heat to them, you can't get the original style back and it uh, kind of degrades the fibers quickly. But, so here this is main attraction, the left side. Here's the back. And then, because I'll probably fall off if I try to spin all the way around, I'll show you this side. Oh, yeah. Lace front. From what I can tell, I'm kind of away from, far away from the mirror. Oh. What was the one that I just got? I just purchased. I will link or I'll let you know. I'll put an annotation in or put down below. The one that I ordered off of eBay. Oh my god. And you know what you guys? I'm okay with spending a little more for these higher quality wigs. They look fabulous. Um, I assume that they're going to hold up well and um, but especially for a lace front monofilament and for Raquel Welsh, her wigs at this point are my favorites. And I love this color. I'm going to, uh, yeah, and this cap, it has the memory cap. And these caps are amazing. I mean, they really do conform to your head. I've never had a wig do that before. Well, Geez, like I've been wearing them a long time. But yesterday, when I, or last night, I went to Zumba. We had rehearsal for our performance. And I wore my hair naturally and because I knew I'd be sweating. And I'm like, I don't like this. I don't like wearing my natural hair. It's just getting so yucky. Oh, here. And 
and this retails for a lot more than what I got it for. So if you aren't subscribed to Outlook um, and you like clothes and shoes and beauty things, I have children's uh, wear, men's wear, jewelry, and they will come in at substantial savings. And if they have a special event coming up, they will let you know. They'll give, send you an email the night before. Um, oh, I love this one. Yeah, I'm going to be selling um, a lot of the other inexpensive ones that I had purchased because I am now hooked on higher quality wigs. So, all right, you guys, well, let me know what your thoughts are below. I now have in my possession three Raquel Welsh wigs. I have another one coming and I'm sure that um, as time goes on, I will purchase more. Um, I've got the Bridget in the, the Paul Young Bridget that was sitting here waiting for me. And I put it on and it looked hideous on me. So I returned that. And um, I thought it was such a pretty wig. It was a Jacqueline Smith and it just looked awful on me. It made me look like I was about 80 years old. So that went back in the mail today. So... All right, you guys, um, like I say, if you can find Raquel Welsh at a good price, go ahead and buy it. Um, and I will give an update on how I like this as I wear it. And what else? And check out Darlene. Check out both her if you're into wigs, interested in wigs or beauty. She's also a, a cosmetologist and... Um, a makeup artist and she <clears throat> does videos about wigs <coughs> excuse me makeup how to apply your makeup to look younger anti-aging skin care all that kind of stuff the stuff that those of us who are a little older were interested in and um, so check out her YouTube channel and check out her eBay store if you're interested in purchasing a beautiful wig for a really decent price so thanks so much for watching and I will just talk to you guys later Bye. Oh, wait. No, no. Hang on. I have to show you. This is the wig that we are wearing. And I'm trying to get this to curl under. Although it's not going to be a big deal because um, in our routine we don't turn around. We just face the front. So it's not like anyone in the audience is going to see the back of my... Whoa. This sucker is hard to get on. Hang on. Um, it's not that anyone in the audience is going to see the back of my wig, but it's kind of flipping up. So I did put water to it. And um, so here's this beautiful wig. It's, it's going to be fun. I should show you. So I have it on there to help it kind of uh, relax. Um, so we have... These are our leg warmers that we're going to wear. And I have to show you these. Look at, does that show? They're LED. Is that not hilarious? So we have those. Let me put the little tab in so it won't burn the battery out. And so we wear those. And then this is the costume. How's this for somebody who is uh, going to be 60 in a couple of years? Not too shabby, huh? So it's called the Snow Bunny, and it's a little dress. It's actually like a Halloween costume. It has long sleeves with the um, faux fur, and then it has a hood, and it's short. It comes maybe about mid-thigh on me. And then we are, and, oh, here's the picture. We do have these leg warmers. We're going to wear them under the other leg warmers. And I don't know if we're going to wear our hoods up or down. Like it shows in the picture. Then we got um, these Capizio Trans Body Light. So that's how much of you is covered 
And then, where's the little unitard? And a little unitard in white to wear underneath it because they're quite short and we just don't want to share that much information with the audience. Because not all of us are, you know, in our 20s and uh, have uh, super slim bodies. So, and I feel sorry for one of the women in the group because she's 5 feet 11 and hers, her costume came like to her hip. I mean, so she bought a second one. Here's our, the rings that we're going to wear. Um, she bought a second one so that she could have... Well, I don't know if we're going to have flashing or, um, so she could have more material added so it would be longer. And then this lipstick is UV pink. Oh, and it's sealed. Okay. So anyway, apparently this will glow in black light. So that's what we're going to be wearing Saturday night pretty crazy and it's really cool because no one will really know who is who because we're all going to have the wigs and the um I assume it's going to will be under a black light so it's going to be really awesome I'm really excited about it so all right you guys now I'll let you go and let me know what you think of my beautiful blonde hair because I'm really I'm loving it I hope you can see hang on I don't want to show too much of my when I'm looking at oh my god this is beautiful because my bathroom is of course a mess I'm trying to unpack everything and figure out where I'm gonna put it so okay you guys thanks so much for watching this is like the seventh time I've said that and I'll talk to you soon and I hope you're doing well and it's warm where you are because it isn't warm here it's cold and there's snow on the ground and there's ice on the road and I hate it and it's just the beginning so okay that's my rant all right love you guys bye